It's a powerful time to be a woman, but it's also a frustrating one. You've called women you don't like fat pigs, dogs, slobs, and disgusting animals. Because in 2016, full gender equality still doesn't exist. People are doing their part, from speaking out about violence against women to campaigning for girls' education. But with so many different voices, the women's movement is overwhelming. So we saw an opportunity to bring these voices together. In partnership with Michelle Obama and the White House, we created the United State of Women. This spring, we'll be hosting the first ever White House Summit on the United State of Women. We started with a logo, turning the equal sign into a symbol of progress. We followed with a launch film that some of the most powerful women in the world were compelled to be a part of. We are the United State of Women. The United State of Women. The United State of Women. And when we do better, everyone does better. You with us? Then listen up. We built a destination where anyone could share their voice and pledge to do their part. And all this led to 5,000 people gathering in Washington for the United State of Women Summit, and over a million watching from afar. Oprah, President Obama, and Warren Buffett, just to name a few. The most powerful women and men in the country were in one room for one day to work toward one common goal. My hope is that people leave here inspired and ready to do something. I may be a little grayer than I was eight years ago, but this is what a feminist looks like. On this day, we created a national moment for gender equality. It became everyone's movement. We trended on Facebook, number one on Twitter, and got 2.6 billion impressions, all without a media or PR budget. And from that day on, hashtag State of Women has been a rally cry for the entire gender equality movement. Proof that the United State of Women is the biggest and most inclusive gender equality initiative yet. And something that now, more than ever, women need to keep moving forward. Because duh. Literally duh.